Hey guys, gals, this is Aaron again. So, I forgot to show you a force last time. It is called the uh, Henry Christ force, also known as a cut deeper force, how I learned it. And it goes something like this. You memorize the top card, two of diamonds. And you have the spectator cut off a few cards, turn them face up, place them back on top of the deck. Have them do the exact same thing, but cut deeper this time. That's why it's called the cut deeper force. They do. You spread through the face-up cards till you get to the first face-down card. And that'll be the card that you memorized. In this case, the two of diamonds. Okay. Use that in a prediction type effect. Whatever kind of effect you want. And uh, that's the Henry Christ force. Or the uh, cut deeper force. Let's see if we can find a coin for you. Here we go. So I think the trick goes like this. I take the coin, I put it in my pocket. No, hang on, wait. I take the coin, I put it in my No, wait, hang on, I got this. I take the coin, I put it in my pocket. I got this, hang on. I take the coin, put it in my pocket. I forgot to do the trick, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, that is the trick. I'll show you how to do that in a second. What you do, actually, is you have two coins. You don't have to use half dollars like I'm using. Anything that fits in the palm of your hand or the finger palm of your hand, really, because you're using a finger palm. And you're going to finger palm the coin like this. Come over like you're doing the change, but just switch it out for the same coin again. Take the coin, put it in your pocket, produce the coin. Next one, you're going to classic palm the coin. This will take about a week to learn how to classic palm. I'll see if I can show you how to classic palm next time. Anyway, next one's going to go like this. You're going to come over, and you're actually going to uh, let the coin fall as your hands, hand comes over to the block, and you're going to push that coin, and then come over and take it again. I don't know how that looked. I hope it looked okay. So you're going to take the coin, again, put it in your pocket, produce. And the third one, this one, you're actually going to do kind of the same thing, only instead of going, placing the coin palm here, you're actually going to place it into your finger palm down here, so it looks like this. That way you can actually take the coin, the real coin, they can see you take it, and put it into your pocket. Okay? And then the last time, I'm just going to take, uh, let the coin fall like this and take nothing. And put nothing into your pocket and still produce. And say you forgot how to do this trick. Okay? And I have another trick that I want to show you. I don't know that I'll actually be able to show you, because I need like another one or two people to do it, but I'm going to explain it to you. There is a gimmicked version of this trick, and then there's the ungimmicked version, which I'll try and show you next week. This is what I'm going to leave you hanging with. I'm going to describe the trick to you, actually. Here we go. So, you show a half dollar and a slightly smaller copper coin. You give both coins to the uh, spectator, and uh, you tell them to put the coins behind their back. They do. You say put one coin in one hand, one coin in the other, so you have one in each hand. They do. You tell them to bring both hands out in a fist. They do. You say, I bet I can guess which coin is in what hand. And you may be right, you may be wrong, it's okay. And when you, when they open the hand with a half dollar, that's okay. So they still have the other hand closed in a fist, like this. You say, how cool? cool would it be if I could steal a coin from your hand? And you do. You take and you produce the copper coin. Yes, that's right. I said the copper coin. But they still feel a coin in their hand. They say, wait, what's going on? I have a coin in my hand. You say, open your hand. They have just a darn quarter. A quarter. Okay? And uh, the gimmick version, you can't really show both sides of the coin. The ungiving version, which I'm going to teach you next time, you can. All right. I will see you next time. I'll teach you how to do that trick. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so at this time. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.